What's up, party people? I, uh, I had to take an opportunistic moment to make a video. I don't know if you can hear this shit in the background, but, <laughs> so, I'm, I'm making dinner and I'm doing multiple things here, so, um, I've been trying to find a good place to park the thing, you know, when I gotta work, and that seems to be the challenge is where can I reliably post up without being too much trouble during the work week and to be comfortable. So last night I stayed near a bus stop. It happened to be close. Um, it was close enough to work, but the thing is that bus stop was so loud and there's wackos and whack jobs hanging out right there. So I basically was looking for a better spot to park it. And uh, this guy came into work and he mentioned that there was an opportunity for me to uh, actually stay on the other side of our property, in the building adjacent to us. He owns it, and as long as I'm out of there by a certain time in the morning, it's all gravy. So I pulled over here, and I was like, sweet, I'm on the other side, I'm not by the bus stop, there's no transient traffic, you know, I'm kind of back behind the businesses, and as long as I'm out by a certain time, then I don't have to pay. So everything's good, right? Well, turns out, it's right next to a, a place that works on cars, installs car stereos. These dudes are out here jamming right now, just banging subwoofers and, uh, you know, clearly like testing their handiwork out, which is hilarious to me because I found this sweet connection, this sweet hookup um, that happens to be so very close to work and really ultra convenient and safe. And then of all things, it's like, <laughs> right next to this loud ass like subwoofers just thumping the whole block because they're testing the car stereos and I don't know what time these guys close maybe they work on like you know until the job's done uh, who knows I'm sure it's not terribly late but I mean it's like 9 o'clock 9 15 <laughs> and that's going on so anyways I thought that was pretty funny um, it's kind of ironic you know the way I believe in energy and the way I think things work, and this is just my opinion, my take on you know how things work in the world at this point, but it's like when you give something up, there is a vacuum created and new energy and new experiences and new things can come in. And sometimes it's what you just completely do not expect, um, but it will serve a purpose, you know? It's not, nothing's ever just totally random it's almost as though, I don't know, things show up that you need, but not always the way that you think it will be. And this is a perfect example of that. Like critically and in a dire state, I needed a place to park that was comfortable and was gonna make work work out. Cause I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a very disciplined and quick person, like quick, quick thinking anyways, but I take a long time with decisions. And that one of the things I'm trying to curb with my minimalism journey is being able to make quicker decisions. And I feel like less things and less noise in my life is gonna facilitate that. Um, so, point is, I wanted to like make a decision on whether or not it was gonna be effective and work. I don't wanna do what I would normally do and be stressed out uh, for a long period of time because that is the opposite of what I'm trying to achieve. I'm trying to achieve a better balance that works for me and less complication. Um, so, you know, getting getting this parking spot is fantastic. It's way safer, um, but this is a perfect example of something I wouldn't have expected that's kind of a little trade-off. It's like, this, well, sure, exactly what you need is this, but in order to have it, you gotta give, give up a little something, just a little bit. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'm out. I gotta make this dinner. Peace.